The human heart beats approximately 100,000 times each day, sending 2,000 gallons of blood on a journey that spans 21,000 miles. Even at rest, the muscles of the heart work twice as hard as the leg muscles of a sprinter. Although the heart is an amazing feat of ingenuity, it's still vulnerable to disease. Conditions like bradycardia can cause the heart rate to slow or beat intermittently. In this case, a pacemaker is needed. Fortunately, today's advances in technology and medicine mean that diseases once considered deadly can effectively be treated. A pacemaker regulates the heart rate, allowing the patient to resume a normal life. Unfortunately, this technology isn't available to everyone who needs it. Every day, people all over the world are dying from heart conditions that are treatable simply because they cannot afford the technology that could cure them. This fact hit home for Dr. Federico Alfaro, a cardiologist from Guatemala. Heartbeat International was formed by Federico Alfaro, a Guatemalan doctor who trained in cardiology at Baylor. Armed with the latest and greatest knowledge about cardiovascular diseases, he returned home. When one of his first patients, a 17-year-old boy, died because his family couldn't afford a pacemaker, he was both devastated and found it totally unacceptable. He vowed never to let that happen again, and through his Rotary Club established the first pacemaker bank, along with the rules and the guidelines that are still in place today. And then his mentor, Dr. Henry McIntosh, took the program global and Heartbeat International was born. The first pacemaker bank opened in Guatemala City with over 50 pacemakers secured from a variety of sources. The bank served the needs of indigent patients throughout Guatemala and elsewhere in South America and the Caribbean. Over the next year, Heartbeat International established 16 pacemaker banks that stretched as far as India and the Far East. Today, Heartbeat International has 46 pacemaker banks in 28 countries throughout the world. Dr. Benedict Maniscalco tells us how Heartbeat International's outreach program works. Patients all over the world are seeing their physicians by the thousands each day. They have abnormal rhythm disturbances of their heart. The doctors make evaluations, test, and recommend treatment. Many times this involves the services of a cardiologist and they recommend that a pacemaker be inserted but in the patients around the world who don't have access to pacemakers because they're not affordable, Heartbeat International has established what we call a pacemaker bank. This consists of physicians who are experts in pacing and pacing therapy, Rotary International members who determine that the need is there, that the indigent status of the patient is valid, and the pacemaker is provided free of charge with lifetime follow-up. We then uh, return the patient to normal life and normal function. A team of trained and experienced specialists volunteer their time not only to perform the implant but also to handle any clinical or technical problems that might arise and perform follow-up examinations to monitor the pacemaker's battery strength. In 2003, Heartbeat International performed its 6,000th pacemaker implant. Every year, the pacemaker industry donates over $4 million worth of new pacemakers to the cause. Uh, Heartbeat International has been fortunate to develop, to develop a wonderful relationship with the uh, pacemaker industry. Having said that, there's probably a more compelling reason. You see, the US, the U.S. pacemaker industry is regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, which requires that pacemakers reaching their use before date be destroyed. Yet these pacemakers have eight to ten years of useful battery life. So rather than destroy pacemakers nearing that use before date, many of them are donated by the industry to Heartbeat International. And then our job is to make these devices available to people that can't afford them through our network of pacemaker banks. For a child that's six to eight years old, that additional lifetime is a lifetime. In the United States, the cost of a pacemaker averages anywhere from $25,000 to $50,000. Because of the generosity of Heartbeat International's volunteers and contributors, they are able to implant a pacemaker for less than $500.
Out of every dollar donated to Heartbeat International, nearly 93 cents is spent on providing and implanting a pacemaker, along with necessary follow-up care. Perhaps one of Heartbeat International's most compelling success stories comes from a young man in Guatemala. At age 13, Jorge received a pacemaker through Heartbeat International. He recovered quickly and resumed life as a healthy, normal, energetic teenager. Two years later, Jorge experienced another life-saving miracle. While I was on my way to school, a man with a gun boarded our bus and shot the driver six times. One of the bullets hit me. Trembling from the ordeal, he opened his shirt to discover that the pacemaker had deflected the bullet, saving his life. Amazingly, even after taking a direct hit, the pacemaker still worked. The benefits go beyond the lives they save. Through Heartbeat International's life-saving efforts, futures are provided, international friendships are fostered, and understanding and goodwill are used as first steps toward peace. To learn more about Heartbeat International or to find out how you can contribute, please call 813-243-8769 or visit their website at www.heartbeatintl.org.